all the time. Yes, that's true, because I did that when I was uh, six. I did that already. I'm done with that already. I'm, I'm past that three-year-old stage of walking as a winner in the way. Not a Christian, but walking as a winner in the way. I'm done with that. I don't, I don't have to take the Bible to my chest, uh, because I hide the word in my heart. Uh, I'm helping God hide the word in my heart. Uh, and here's it, because uh, I say I'm helping him, because Psalm 119.11 says, I, the word of my head in my heart that I might not sin against thee. But Jeremiah tells us uh, that God said he would write the word, uh, write his word on the hearts of his children. Therefore, I am his children, and he has already written his word on my heart. Uh, and that's what comes up this easy. I don't know. I like to pick up. That's the one thing that upset those people that were said they were pro equipment to me. Because I said it, I don't have to pick up the book like you do and lick it before I start talking. God said, He didn't tell me nothing about the mic. You know why? They said, Come downstairs, put him up. Uh, he said, I have a Bible. You know why? They said, Come downstairs, put a mic on, strap it on, and start talking. And I, and I told you guys, uh, past, I said, Every time I get up and look at the words or something to talk about, you take it in another direction. Do I care? No, because at the end of the day, the captive are being set free. Blind eyes are being open. People are being delivered because of my prayer life. I will never forget them. Of this young woman that came to me on Sunday and said, "Thank you for coming to me." Because check this out. I flew with her that morning. I said, "I gotta figure out a way to say this." It was Wednesday morning. I know because I was running out for the why. She said, "I gotta figure out a way to say this." I said, "I got it." I said, "Tell." I said, "Listen, you have to tell the young lady that you brought the church." I don't know her name. I never met her. Tell her she has to tell me what to pray for her for. Because I keep seeing her face So tell me I need to know how to pray for her Sunday I found out the next day She has spent the entire day kill, Trying to kill herself And the said It might just be the fact that you were praying Because nobody else knew about it And here's the thing Here's the thing She was unsuccessful And I said it on the radio call yesterday I said unsuccessful The saying is Unsuccessful Y'all sing everything else, y'all say you like it, then you put a little ring on it. Uh, sing this with me. Sing this all successful. Cause I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I don't have to put more in front of my. I told him and she said, the word of the day is conqueror. So I have God gave me a different word for her. I said, mm, I started talking about that. I said, no. Because I said, yet I am more than a conqueror. It's based on what God has already told me. I am still more than a conqueror. But here's the thing. I said, I, 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 I did the conqueror thing already. I did that last week. She said, conquer, conquer, conqueror. And last but yesterday was the word of the day. I said, uh-uh. My, the new word is, uh, I'm successful. My, my. I said, because I, I got to tell you how I was conqueror for God and how God conquered things through me. So I told her the story. Real. And after I got up went up in the praise, God said the new word was, ah. Oh, I'm flat because I'm growling at the floor. I'm pointing my body on an angle toward the floor. Because he's taking it, he's beneath me, he's not standing up. So I'm letting him know where he would be. Screaming it at his face. Everything else, but y'all don't want to sing. My God, like, I'll do battle. My God, I'm, I, 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 I walk in victory because I'm just walking around picking up spoils. But I'll do battle, and in my battle, God said, "This is how you fight the good fight of faith. You speak to the mountain. I'm not speaking to uh, demons because they're not on my level. I speak to the mountain. Satan is a mountain. So the more I speak to the mountain, I notice this thing. Why I end up the feeling the way that I do it, getting sick like that? These are just demons that are tor- tormenting me or tor- trying to torment me. They can't torment me. They're beneath me. But these are just demons that say they're sending after me. Go get her. Ah, oh, but you can stop talking to me. She's hurting me. Ah, oh, that's all. The battle is from your mouth. You know how much damage you do to his uh, spiritual body when you attack him with your mouth. Uh, God said the battle in the spiritual realm is fought with seeds that are spoken. You speak uh, to the mountain. That's why you have to speak to it. Uh, but you are not uh, validated or valued in what you speak because you do not believe it. Uh, you have to believe what you're saying spiritually, naturally, and physically. I don't care what you say. Satan is under my feet. Bye-bye. Believe it and it is so you shall have it. So I'm going to get it for that one because uh, I release also on this blog to people to let them know how to fight. And the best way for me to fight is how I fought yesterday. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, And the funny thing is, she started out with conquer, and at the end of it, she said, I, I said, she's she, she like walking around like, hmm. Uh, 
unsuccessful, unsuccessful, unsuccessful. She kept saying it with me, because it kept rolling around my spirit. I'm successful. She kept rolling around my spirit. I know you should not successful. Why I cut him out? I'm a queen. I'm successful. And I realized that you got to validate that thing. If you say he's unsuccessful, who is successful? Say, ah, I'm a queen, because Jesus already went to Calvary. Finish that thing. This ain't about Jesus successful failure. Satan is not fighting Jesus anymore, because he's beneath Jesus. He can't, he can't even be a blip on, J on Jesus' calendar. They are, my God, da, 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 and they are waiting for the time when they can come get us. Uh, who is fighting Satan? Us! Crazy fool. You think fighting Satan? Uh, Jesus come fight this battle for me. He's gonna fight my battles. Yeah, no, with the battle is the Lord. No, sweetie. No, no. Just because you say it and sound cute, and people are taking it and putting it in a song. David was saying that back then because he did not understand what was going on. Remember, Job did not understand that God was not sending the calamity to him. That's why he said, go, he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job did not understand that there was a Satan to deal with. So he attributed everything to God. The Jewish people still do that. They, they attribute everything to God. They have no such word as coincidence. If something happens, that means that God did it or he's going to use it in some fashion. But there's no such thing as coincidence in the Hebrew language. You know what I care about? Ah, oh, that's a four. Hey. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a four. I'm one of many that are doing it. Bye. Y'all don't know how many people in Ukraine are walking around with a unsuccessful Satan in their spirit. Bye. Bye. Now you are unsuccessful. They are praying with fire and power and authority. They don't certify anything to him, bad or good, because they know blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow to it. So at the end of the day, if all things work together for the good, to them that love God, right, that makes up a blessing, and are the call the court to his purpose. So all things, meaning good and bad, work together to create blessings. And the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow to it. Everything that the enemy sends my way as bad comes out as a blessing for me and works to make me rich, my heart, and add no sorrow to it. So what is it they can even Hallelujah, the Bible says when enemy comes in Like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him How dare you give the, the enemy a flood or a standard? Are you crazy? He can have a flood or a standard, he got no standards He's not the standard, God is love, God is love The enemy is another John, waiting to prostitute and traffic you How can the enemy have standards? You know what you got though? Oh, it's also revealed to me what the definition of the actual thing that my mother gave me is. <laughs> Hallelujah! I almost fell out on that. If you guys get a chance to listen to, it's a radio show. Look up Jamie Elizabeth. It's a radio show supposed to air um, four times over the next four or five days. And I mean, I went up. I was almost on this floor in here because God told me after he told me the enemy was unsuccessful. Before he told me the enemy was unsuccessful. You know why he told me I was a conqueror? Check this out. Uh, I told you guys this story, but I didn't really put two and together completely. I've been telling you guys, uh, I'm put together with a toothpick, a piece of floss, and some uh, uh, dental floss, and some gum. Right? We, we talked about that. I just believe that because I, I've been beat through life, right? So, and by different people. I mean, people just been trying to beat me through life all my life. So, here's the thing. When my mother would take her fist, her knuckles, she would put her knuckles out. She would point her, her middle finger and her three knuckles, the forefinger and the ring finger knuckles out, and punch me with her knuckle at the base of my um, neck or head between the two somehow she severed my connection to my spine she severed the connection of my head to my spine they looked at it the neurologist after doing tests when I first died I mean it took about three months of tests they looked at it and they said this happened over abuse and over time. It's called a GRE malformation. Uh, you're still being formed and you're still growing. However, something is mal. Something is M-A-L, mal. Mal means bad, basically. Mal means bad, not basic. Mal means bad, completely. Mal is bad. When you hear mal, that means bad. So if it's a formation, things are forming right in your body. Except there's a malformation with it. Something comes in to either stop that or... Something just starts to grow in a bad manner.